Ooh, he's buying more cows. Buying more cows. He has three now, so he can afford a brown cow. Ooh, what do we want to do? We have two engineers now, so coming here, we could move two spaces. That's not horrible. We can now move four, though, so we can go one, two, three, four. We still can't get past here. We don't have a pair in our hand for there, so I say let's. we're going to stop off here. We'll get a certificate, and we'll move our train, too. Let's see if we can't get that train moved up a little bit so we're not constantly spending all of our money. One, two, and he's building a building. Has two builders, so we'll build a level two building. Only has one left, and oh my goodness, he's just he's just blocking me in here. This is this is really unfortunate. Wow, what a dick! One, two, three, four. I just increased my movement, so I wouldn't have this problem. And now I'm back to having this problem. Wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna show off something here. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to spend two bucks because I'm crossing his hand there. Now, instead of taking the action on a tile, you could instead do an auxiliary action, which is what I'm gonna do because this doesn't help me at all. Right now, the only ones I have available are these. I can take two money or I can draw two cards and then discard two cards. I think I'm gonna take the money. Very bad turn. One, and is grabbing that guy. I do want this orange bandit so that I can take advantage of that. But we have some orange bandits coming out that would be a little bit more valuable have eight bucks. I don't know that I want to go with a cow at the moment. Ah, there's just this one builder here that's not helping. I feel like maybe going engineer would be best. And that, there's a seven engineer right there. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three. I passed by that hand, so I have to spend two more. Wow, that's killing me. I do have a white cow, so I can get that two right back. And then we're gonna spend seven to get this engineer right here. And I can sell a gray to get two more bucks. And we're gonna fill up our hand. That is a terrible herd. That is a god awful herd. I need to get to 10 so I can go to Chicago and that ain't gonna cut it. Okay, well he has three buildings so he's moving three spaces. One, and he's gonna move into my building. Two, three, cause he's gonna take the shortest path. And so that has two hands on it. He just paid me four bucks. Ha <laughs> ha! How do you like that, Sam? I can be a dick too. Okay, that was fun. Oh, and now he's gonna buy more cows. This guy, this guy, he's gonna take all the brown cows. Maybe I should have stopped at the cow market. Okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna fall down. I'm then going to go three steps with my train. Okay, I can almost get into that station, but not quite. And then I am gonna do an auxiliary action here. I'm gonna draw two and then discard two. And I gotta shuffle up my deck. No. Yes. All right. Well, let's just get rid of one of the black and one of the gray. That puts us at eight. We can spend two certificates to get to 10. So we've done it. 
Just moving one, grabbing that. Definitely coming here, getting my three bucks. Moving one. Ah, I'm not gonna spend the green because I don't trust those cards, but I want to build a building. I could turn that four into, I like that four though. I kind of don't want to mess with that one. Tell you what, yeah, we're gonna build a three. That's gonna cost us six. And we can just place this one wherever we want. Maybe here, just so I have a place to go. <laughs> one, two, three, four, I could stop there instead of going here. And then I can go one, two, then I can be on my merry way. Yeah, okay, I think we're gonna do that. Okay, he's going in. And I'm coming in as well. I really want this orange bandit out. Ooh, and I just realized I went over one of these, so we need to refill this market. Looks like we have five, six, seven. We need two more cows. Alrighty. And now we're gonna go to market with these. That's four, five, eight, nine, ten. Get our ten. And I want to, ooh. No, I think I want the hand size, don't I? Yeah, I want the hand size. So we're gonna increase our hand size by one. It costs five bucks though to do that, so. When we go to Chicago, we also get another one of these objectives. Yeah, I'll think about that one. At least that's a building one. Yeah, I, I might be able to do that. And what do I owe? I, I owe two bucks which is a lot better than it's been. Glad I moved the train up at least a little bit. Okay, I've got to discard all those. And now that my hand size is five, I get to draw five. Oh, this is going to be a powerful herd. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Okay, he's moving two. And he's gonna move his train to. Okay, I could beat him into that station. Yes, that's what we want to do for sure. If we do go here, grab a certificate and move our train. It's gonna go into the station. We get to put one of our tokens down. Has to be a white token. So I haven't talked about these. Maybe I will real quick. This one will let you spend a, a coin and move your train back one in order to get a certificate. That's interesting. This one lets you spend a coin to move your train forward one. I like that. And this one gets you a coin and you move your train back in order to permanently remove a cow from your deck. This is a way of thinning your deck out. A little late to be thinning our deck, so I think we'll go that one. We get this token, the station token, which will give us an immediate benefit here of two bucks. And then it gives us an in-game thing where we're going to get an extra point for every one of our workers. So that's cool. We'll just stick that over here. But we have to send someone to the station to sort of man the station. I'm gonna send this cowboy out. So that's the downside. You lose one of your workers, but I think that was well worth it. Good boy, okay, so he's moving three. One, two, three. And buying cows. First, two more cows get added. So another brown. Ooh, and another orange and he has three cowboys eight bucks to spend i still think this brown is the most points he can get 
He's really racking up some points with that. I think we are in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, let's go here. One, two, three. We're going to spend. That's our building, so we can use it. We're going to sell a black cow to get two certificates. And then we're going to get money. Three bucks, because we have three engineers. Love it. The other thing we could do is we could play this card. Now, you don't have to. But if you play it, then you're on the hook here for completing it. If you don't complete it, it'll be worth negative two points. But if we do complete it, it'll be worth three points. Now, we already have two buildings out. We just need to get one hazard. I think we can manage that. So I am going to play this. And when you play it, you get to take this bonus that's on top. In this case, I get to draw three cards and then discard three cards. <laughs> wow. Well, if we wanted to stop here, that might be worth it. But honestly, I say let's just get rid of those. Because we want to be on our way. And now we're going to draw back up to our hand size, which is five. <laughs> okay, well, we got plenty of pairs, so we could still stop there. Three again. One, two, three. And just going to move their train one. I could stop here, get four bucks, and get a hazard. I need a hazard for that. Yeah, I definitely want to buy that builder. Okay, I think I will stop. One, two, three. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to get this guy. And that gives me four bucks. Then I can do that action, and I'll use... Hmm... So I could either, I could spend one to move my train forward. No, I think I'm going to do this action twice. So one, and then I have to shuffle. Two. All right, just get rid of those. Okay, he's moving three. One, two, three. He has to pay me four bucks. Ooh, I have a lot of money now. And he's not doing anything. Fantastic. We're coming here. Sell one of those guys for two. And we are definitely buying this builder. And by buy, I mean hire. Goes here. And this ability lets us build a building. And we only have to pay one buck per builder that we use. And I think what I want to do is upgrade that five into this level nine. So that'll cost me four bucks and we'll just pop it right on top of there. Okay, Get to draw another one. All right, there we go. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 15. Ooh, 15. I'd like to get to 16. So we need to get that green out of there and have that be something better. Oh, we got to shuffle Sam's deck. All right, he's coming in. Okay. Oh, actually, he gets to purchase, doesn't he? I'm going to take another brown cow. Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Three, I'll get four bucks. I can move. And we're going to sell this green for two. And build a building. Let's build... Oof. Build this guy. Right here. That's going to cost... Eight. But I'm good for it. There's one, there's two.
Oh, and I need to draw. Oh, I got the green again. Luckily, I built that building, though. <laughs> so I can come to this building and I can just repeat that action. So we'll sell that green that we just got for two. And we're going to build another building. Ooh, this five is worth ten. Okay, I'm going to upgrade here. The difference of two, so I'll need to spend four. Okay, let's see if this gets better. Yes, there we go. Man, this guy will just not stop buying cows, will he? One, two, three. Adds two more cows. Blue. And still think this brown is his best. And now I'm coming in. And I think I'm going to end the game. I get two points for doing that. I get to keep this, which is worth two points. And now I can sell this off. So we have 10, 14. We might as well spend all of those for 18. And we have hit New York City. I think we'll use this one here because that's worth three points at the end of the game. And going to New York is worth nine points. So that was a big delivery. Let's get 18 bucks. Really should have taken one of those. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to make it. Oh, I've got a pay a bunch of this back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven. The opponent gets to take one last turn. And we'll build a house. We'll build their level two. Hi, I don't think he's able to build because he only... He's built all the buildings he can for the number of builders that he has. So I think he just, he's not able to build. And so I think that's it. Is that the end of the game? I think that's the end of the game. <laughs> and here are the final scores. As you can see, it looks like Sam beat us by four points, 74 to 70. We really had a bad showing there, especially right here. I can go through this, I guess. You get uh, a point for every five money. Then you get the points on your buildings. You can see that's what we were focusing on. We did pretty well there. Then you get points uh, for the cities that you've delivered to. We were about even there. You get points for the stations. We both only did one of those. And then here is where we really fell apart. The hazards. We didn't get a hazard and that really cost us. Hazards are worth points, but also we needed at least one hazard for our objectives. As you can see here, we scored minus two for our objectives. We did not complete one single objective, um, so that was not very good. And then you can see right here, that's points for cows. That's what Sam was really focused on. And then down here, Sam doesn't get points for these things, but that would be for your station bonuses. That's for uh, if you if you get uh, five or six of a single type of worker, you get four points each for that. That is for unlocking that third, that um, spot of, of your movement. And that's for the two points for having, for ending the game. And there you go, guys. That is a full solo playthrough of Great Western Trails, second edition. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.